Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God, this is your daily devotional reading. Maranatha, the Lord is coming. A devotional by Ellen White. November 24th, Christ again returns to the earth. When the solemn trumpet sounded, heaven and earth shall flee away. All who hate him must confound it, hear the summons of that day. Come to judgment, come to judgment, come to judgment, come away. Come to judgment, come away. Christ again returns to the earth. Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all. Jude, verses 14 and 15. At the close of the thousand years, Christ again returns to the earth. He is accompanied by the host of the redeemed and attended by a retinue of angels. As he descends in terrific majesty, he bids the wicked dead arise to receive their doom. They come forth a mighty host, numberless as the sounds of the sea. What a contrast to those who were raised at the first resurrection. The righteous were clothed with immortal youth and beauty. The wicked bear the traces of disease and death. Every eye in that vast multitude is turned to behold the glory of the Son of God. With one voice, the wicked hosts exclaim, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. It is not love to Jesus that inspires this utterance. The force of truth urges the words from unwilling lips. As the wicked went into their graves, so they come forth with the same enmity to Christ and the same spirit of rebellion. They are to have no new probation in which to remedy the defects of their past lives. Nothing would be gained by this. A lifetime of transgression has not softened their hearts. A second probation were it given them, would be occupied, as was the first, in evading the requirements of God and exciting rebellion against him. Christ descends upon the Mount of Olives, whence, after his resurrection, he ascended, and where angels repeated the promise of his return. Says the prophet, The Lord my God shall come, and all the saints with thee and his feet shall stand in that day upon the Mount of Olives, which is before Jerusalem on the east, and the Mount of Olives shall cleave in the midst thereof. And there shall be a very great valley. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. In that day shall there be one Lord, and his name one. Zechariah chapter 14, verses 5, 4, and 9. As the new Jerusalem, in its dazzling splendor, comes down out of heaven, it rests upon the place, purified and made ready to receive it. And Christ, with his people and the angels, enters the holy city. Maranatha, the Lord is coming. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.